Honda's electric vehicle push has gone extremely badly. Um, yeah, they rank second last in the world for the percentage of their cars that will be EVs in 2029. Second worst in the world. Uh, that's pretty concerning. But, but they want to change, I think. And they've just shown off their new electric vehicle. It's the American General Motors based version. And I think it's pretty impressive. friends, welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Now, if any of you want to, you can join our Facebook group. We regularly post updates in there. It's a private group. Jump on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below and join in with us. And I do sometimes interact, or actually I interact there on a pretty, pretty much a daily basis and you can get in touch with me that way. Honda's electrification push has gone pretty badly. And yeah, like I said, they rank second worst in the world only because Toyota are so, so bad. Toyota, as a percentage of all cars sold in 2029, only 14% will be EVs. It's not a lot better for Honda. But thankfully, those failures might possibly be a distant memory. Well, hopefully. They just released a sketch, an image, a concept for their new electric prologue. Apparently, it'll launch in 2024. And I've got to say, I do like the look of it, although the bonnet does look very long for an electric car. Build as an adventure-ready SUV capable of satisfying everyday driving and weekend getaways, the Prologue was designed to the Honda Design Studio in Los Angeles in collaboration with the design team in Japan. The company didn't say much about the model, but the teaser sketch suggests the crossover will have a streamlined front fascia, with a fully enclosed front grille that is flanked by slender headlights. And it does look very Honda to me. The shape of those headlights, to me, does look similar to some of the Honda's existing cars. Overall, despite the fact that I'm not a fan of the proportions with that long bonnet, I think it looks really good. What else can we see? There's a sculpted hood, plastic body cladding, a rakish windscreen that vaguely recalls the Cadillac Lyric. The crossover also sports a prominent shoulder line, a sloping roof, and quite an expansive glass house. Now, Honda has been fairly tight-lipped on specifics. They said that they're focusing on aerodynamics, fine-tuning the body with a simple surface direction and fewer lines to improve range and reduce cabin noise. Both of those two things I like. The latter is important. As electric vehicles are so quiet, that it makes wind and road noise sound quite a bit more pronounced. Now, Honda have declined to mention specifications, but we know, right? Honda and GM have previously revealed the crossover will be based on GM's Ultium platform using, well, GM's Ultium batteries. GM's Ultium batteries use 70% less cobalt than the previous batteries that they use, but they are NCMA batteries, nickel, cobalt, manganese, aluminium not lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which is, in my opinion, the better choice. But anyway, we'll see what happens there. Now, apparently, there's going to be lots of General Motors baked into the car. It will offer OnStar, as well as GM's hands-free advanced driver assist technology, which is a not-so-subtle reference to Super Cruise. The connection doesn't end there. As the Prologue, its Acura counterpart will be built by General Motors. To be honest, it sounds, like, it sounds to me as though Honda is turning into General Honda Motors. It's quite interesting to see what's happening here to Honda in the US. I mean, the funny thing is that um, it does seem like realistically, to be fair, as though GM are sort of taking over Honda to some degree. I mean, here in Australia, Honda has just died. Their sales went from being up there in the top five. Now, their sales have gone to almost nothing. I mean, the company will be probably dead in Australia within the next year. Besides teasing this new electric Prologue SUV, Honda said they'll begin production and sales of electric vehicles based on their own e-architecture in 2026. So it's going to take them another four years to make their own electric cars. One year later, they said they will partner to build a new series of affordable electric cars based on a new vehicle architecture co-developed with General Motors. 
thanks to a flood of new electric vehicles, Honda expects to sell nearly 500,000 EVs in North America by 2030. Be interesting to see if they can pull that off. In related news, Honda is working with dealers to prepare them for the EV era. That's one of the big problems with EVs. Dealers, they don't like them. Why? Well, dealers make, believe it or not, most of their profits not from the sale of the vehicle, but from after-sales services, whether that be adding things to the vehicle, whether that be servicing, whether that be selling you parts in the future. Yeah, not a lot of parts to sell you in the future. Not a lot to make on servicing on electric cars either. However, as part of this effort, Honda has developed a tiered approach with dealers based on potential EV sales in their local markets. They have developed guidelines for the number and type of EV charging stations that dealers will be required to have installed based on their expected EV sales volume through 2030. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it sounds like Honda dealers have to install EV chargers at dealerships. Sounds pretty easy to me. More interestingly though, CarScoop says that Honda has created a new dealership design with a modular and flexible space reflecting changes in the way customers shop for and purchase vehicles, as well as lower inventory dealers will need to support sales in the future. As you can see in the renderings, Honda dealerships are envisioned to be bright, airy, and welcoming thanks to large windows and a prominent display area, which invites customers to check out featured vehicles. Now, what I'm getting from this press release is that Honda is likely going to start selling electric vehicles online. I could be wrong, but that's what I think they're going to do. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the description below, in the comment section below. What do you think of this new Honda EV? And what do you think of what Honda is doing right now when it comes to electrification? Very interesting. They've made some... Um, I think probably some good choices, some not so good choices, but lately all this partnership stuff with GM to me makes it look like GM is basically building Hondas for them. And I'm not sure why that's an advantage for GM. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm just one person. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.